So what do we need to do to actually get the repository back up and running and actually make everything work again? So step one is now we're actually going to use this that repo right here to actually create the customer. And notice it's just, I'm just redirecting the code right now actually. And notice that this keyword is being kind of, not grayed out, but it's, it's not required right here because there's nothing here called repo, right? So it knows that when I'm writing repo right here, I'm talking about the repo inside the actual class up here. But again, it's up to you if you want to keep it or not. Let me just remove this again just to show you it's not required here, but it was, was required right here. But notice, now I just have the repo create right here, and I'll just do the same for the delete. There's no business logic yet, so this is very, very easy to implement. Later on, when we start having business logic, that would actually change the way that we are using this to hopefully when we get the unit of work in, when we get the database in, we will start doing some uh, crazy things. But that won't be for this series because you know what? I just put in too much already and I don't want to scale all the way. So let's just um, notice I just went in and, and called the exact same methods that I used before. Now it's just on the repo and we just moved the database down one layer, meaning it's now actually in the data access layer where it belongs. So that's perfect. We still don't have the update up and running and here we have to uh, fix this somehow and we will try and get back to that later on. But right now it would actually work. So that's perfect because right now we're just working with in memory lists. So the, this works already, right? Because everything is already in memory. We're not talking to a persistent database anywhere because if we were talking to a persistent database, this would create problems for us. So guess what? Now we actually just created another layer and everything is up and running. Let's just make sure that it runs in the next lesson and have a talk about potential exceptions. See you next time.